For many nights now, the spirit of Merlin has haunted your dreams. It speaks to you of darkness from the world beyond from beyond this world. A darkness that will tear apart everything you know and love. That is why Merlin has reached his out his hand and gathered those who are ready to stand against the cataclysm. Let's listen to Merlin. This is your task, Merlin's voice whispers. You must seek Camelot. Camelot? It's only a model. Where the Grail awaits. Take it, then make your way across Albion. Brave the dangers of Marca Hispanica. Uh, is it Marsa Hispanica? Uh, journey through Al Andalus and cross the wide sea until you reach Jerusalem. There your world will be saved or ended. I accept your quest, Merlin. Many days of travel, you've arrived at Camelot. Before you lies the heart of Albion, King Arthur's dream made manifest. Here you will find the Grail and begin your quest. Camelot. It's almost as beautiful as it was in Arthur's day. King Gawain has done all he can to preserve it, but the passage of time and the weakness of the realm, invisible in small matters, the armor of the knights does not shine as it once did, and the round table is full of scratches. There is a sense of fraying, of decay held at bay by will alone. King Gawain's uh, hair has turned gray long ago, but his grip is strong as he embraces you one by one. You've come for the grail, yes? I knew one day it would be needed. As Merlin told us, I feel his spirit within you. I feel it within myself a long time ago, yet he seems diminished. He shrugs. I suppose we are all these days. I have done my best to preserve Arthur's vision, but I am no Arthur. Gawain keeps the grail inside a simple wooden box engraved with only the sigil of Arthur. Did you know the grail changes its aspect according to those who carry it? It was different when I held it than when Arthur held it. I suppose that means I could never truly follow Arthur's path, though I have tried. Tell me, my friends, what virtue is it that you embrace? Um, Valor. When you take the grail, its appearance changes. As Gawain predicted, he smiles. Is it the cup of a carpenter? Remarkable, it is not. To witness such things helps one maintain one's faith, and that there are greater powers, that, powers than our own, and not all of them are hostile to our needs. But then a sudden weakness seems to overcome Gawain. He leans on the throne in skin pale. The king's steward uh, appears and quickly ushers you out of the throne room. I'm very sorry, the steward says. The king does not intend to be rude. These spells have inflicted him since the death of King Gawain. He must, re he must rest. He asked me to help you. However, so shall I do what I can. I can offer you one of two boons. This relic, which bears ancient powers of the last remaining draught of concoction once brewed by Morgan Le Fay for Ogier the Dane. A rabbit's foot? Give me a rabbit's foot. Yeah, I don't go anywhere with my rabbit's foot. Stuart nods. Uh, this relic uh, brought you. Um, it has a relic brought to you. Uh, I wish you luck on your journey, friends. Beware of Carcassonne. They say evil gathers there to besiege the city. Okay. Merlin's journal. Welcome to uh, open your journal, view your units, figure out who wants to carry the grail. Okay, we got Brunar, Merwin, Morgan. Okay. I guess Morgan has the cup, I guess. Oh, no. Brunar has the cup. Plus, well, plus health. What does it give to you? It's always plus health? Oh, yeah, give it to him. The warrior. You get plus one evasion and accuracy with the ranger. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Well, let's go here. You enter the region in which the cataclysm has begun to spread its corruption. Once, there was an inn here called the Laughing Hound, but uh, beloved not by uh, only of travelers, but all those who value the pleasures of good food. Arthur himself is said to have dined here once with Guinevere by his side. Uh, on one of the few quiet days of his life his life afforded him, the Laughing Hound is in ruin now. Let's go there. A bestial noise emerges from within. Let's get in there. Charge in there. Uh, two of the abominations, sometimes called mandrakes, have just killed a poor fox that was trapped in a cage. Fight the abominations. Top right. What? Uh, camera use. Okay. Wazi moves us around. Got it. Right click. Uh, Changes units. Left click. Okay. Here's our uh, mandrakes. So we're going to walk up to this guy and kind of pick anybody. Yeah. So, uh, hey, Merlin. He's got cover. Shield icon low. Got it. Red means the enemy can. S okay. Green means no enemies that are currently able to hit the units. Yellow means. Get the benefits. Okay. So you can, like, um. Singe. Sing Singe or Singo. One or the other. Nope. I think I want to walk up front here, though. Let's go there. And, um... 
We got, I got ability. We can't hit him yet. We'll, we'll wait. Let's just get up on this guy. And then what is going on around here? This place is creepy. I'm going to uh, slash. Take that, foul mandrake. And then I'm going to have you. Um, I mean, he's got you blocked pretty well. Let's just let's just stand over here. And uh, just shoot that guy. What do you got? Archer's Vigil. Take reaction shot against the first enemy that moves. So, Overwatch. We should just all agree to just call it um, Overwatch. I guess I didn't move. I guess I still have my movement left for my turn. Let me go uh, over here. Actually. And fry this. Oh, no. Never mind. I played, um, the first MMO I ever played was, uh, um, Dark Age of Camelot. And I played on the Morgan Le Fay server. That's my little Morgan Le Fay uh, story for you. Um, uh, health is red, armor's blue, and action points are yellow. Okay. You are all to cycle between units, header, viewing modes. Health is not restored after battle. Huh. This armor's almost gone. I say we just work on this guy. Can, um, hey you. Can you shoot that guy? There you go. Armor's down. Go ahead and do your uh, archer's vigil. Sure. Obviously, you can't move there. Can you, um... You need some better abilities, buddy. Um... So if you go there, you get a 100% chance to hit me. Yeah, go, go, uh, go hide behind the archer. Singe, or Singo, that guy. Yeah, take that. And I'm gonna kill ya. I'm gonna get ya. Take that! Ooh! I got some moves. Ouch. Aha! Here we go. Okay, um, Archer, you're going to handle this guy. Can, I, can you do it? This does like four damage. How much? He's got six left, so I suppose... What do you do? Five damage, and he's got what? Six left? And how much do you do? Four damage. Well, you guys are just useless, aren't you? Um, I'm going to have you move over here onto this. Well, let's just kill him first. Two. Now, oh, thanks, Red Cat. Yeah, have a good Father's Day. Go ahead and um, just hang out here. Will you... Um, here, yeah, you handle this guy. I got a fantastic gift for Father's Day. I'm going to brag about it because... Uh, oh, did I hit him too? Oops. Um, I mean, it was... Um, I We have a cat, and I got a, a self-cleaning litter box. Best Father's Day gift I think I've ever had. Maybe possible ever to get. What's that do? Eight armor to friendly. Oh yeah, give it to him. So now, and it's already it's already been working. Fantastic. So no more, no more litter box cleaning. Just just letting technology take over. I'm I'm living in the 21st century now. I don't know where I was before. Back in the 90s. Not a litter. It's just like a it's like a robot that has like uh, well, it's a litter box that has like grooves like a like a comb in it, and scoops the stuff up. I thought for sure my cat wasn't going to. Go for it. it. Was gonna be like terrified of it or whatever, but she um she handled it quite nicely, like a pro. It well, it's I was I was curious how it worked too. Um, well, first off, I was yeah I thought for sure she was gonna be terrified of it and wouldn't go for it. Um, but it it's got a sensor in there, and so it it knows when she's been in there, and once once um once twenty minutes has passed since she was in there, then it goes. So that way it doesn't freak the cat out. Oh. <laughs> um, you know, what's I had planned on um, doing the... I actually bought some... There's some special litter you're supposed to get for the... Um, the um, 
the toilet training of, of cats. She's, I think she's a smart one, so she probably could learn it. Um, but I, I never, I never did it. I bought the litter, like the organic stuff you're supposed to be able to put that can flush on the toilet, you know, and all that. But I never, um, I never went and, uh, and trained her. You wait to see the other, uh, any other abominations? No more. All cleaned up. Okay. Congratulations on victory. Thanks, game. Got some resources and got 50 renown. Rank up your units via Merlin's journal. Okay. What's this one? Not available. Right. Well, um, Brunor. Was Brunor? Was he a, um, I don't recognize that name other than like, uh, the Dritz to Word series. Yeah, I'll give you a new skill. War cry. Three stacks of powerful. Okay. Plus your power. Ready, re ready reaction striking at the first enemy unit that either moves or attacks. Is this a... There's one action point to the user. Yeah. I'll take some haste. Uh, Merwin. You are going to get four damage twice to the same target or separate ones. Dash or mark to somebody. I'm going with a, a quick jaw. And then uh, Merlin. Quick to all units, deal six damage to all units in an area, or four stacks of caustic weaponry. Four damage dealt to armor, decays, losing one stack per strike. No, no, we're just going to go all damage all the time. <laughs> I just read Jan's comment. Special energies around this place. Oh, man. My mom lived there. Uh, we got a cataclysm over there. Let's go over here. No, we'll go here. Trading post. You come across a small trading post on a clearing by a river. Merchants and farmers sit at the simple stands, listening as a crier in extravagant apparel extols the virtues of the conjurers and fire eaters hired by the King Dra Dagonet, not Dragnet, for the first great feast. Okay, yeah, I'll eat it. Never before have such things been seen in Albion. A forest man from B Town who calls up snakes out of the very ground. A strange mystic from the land of Moors who eats fire. Okay. Uh, you want to trade? I will trade. Um, I don't need any of that. I'll take some gold. Yeah. See ya. Ostentatious bard. As you walk into a small village, a man dressed too colorful is leaned against the wall, challenging anyone and everyone to battle the wits. Battle of wits. Oh, yeah, we got this. Now you have the looks of someone who'd be willing to take on a little challenge of mine. I bet you cannot beat it. I'll play. Finally, a challenger for Bob. Here are the rules. I ask you three riddles, and for every riddle you get correct, I give you a bit of gold. Sounds easy. Well, it's not, because I will not go e it will be easy. Okay. Bring it on. Marvelous. First riddle is rather simple. What flies without wings? Bob poses the question smirking. Uh, time flies without wings. Whatever you throw. Everything. All these things. Alright, you got one right, but only one. I'm not going to go easy on you anymore. I'm certain you won't know the answer to the next one. What is only one color, but not one size? Present present in sun, but not in rain. You can see, but it cannot touch. Um, one color, but not one size. Shadow, stars, sky thing moving away from you. Certainly it's not that one. That's too ordinary. Uh, present in sun, but not in rain. Shadow. Not stars. Sky. You can see the sky in the rain. Better be a shadow. You can, you can see, but cannot touch. Shadow. You're right again. All right. Perhaps you indeed clever one, but last one is going to be mine. What is what is it that given one, you'll have either two or none? Give me a choice. I will have two or none. Huh? Right? What is that given one, you'll have either two or none? It's either a number, choice, or pair of hands. You gotta be choice. Right again. 25 gold. Okay. Not easy. We got special. Oh, no, no, not yet. Not yet. Edward and Nosewise. The sun shines and a gentle breeze blows as you travel along the pleasant country road. Barking dog. Hey, doggy. 
large shaggy dog bursts out of the bushes. It runs around you in circles, barking, but does not seem to mean you harm. We gotta pet the doggy. Ask it what it wants, pet the dog, or ignore it. No, no, pet the doggy. The dog wags its tail as you approach, but runs off. Then it stops, comes back, and runs around you again. It seems to want something. Um, you want some food, doggy? That's a lot of food for the doggy. I'll approach you. Dog happily barks and wags its tail as you approach, but then runs off. Looking back every so often to make sure you're following. Oh, I'll go, I'll go. Follow the dog to an old moss-covered ruin, hidden in a cosp, cops of, cosp, cops, uh, co copes of trees. Just as you begin to wonder why it led you here, Timmy's in the well again. Dog barks excitedly and leads you to an old well. You see a small boy trapped at the bottom. I'm really sorry. I sh no, I shouldn't be exploring the ruin. He shouts, but could you please help me? Look for a rope. Dog runs around you and barks. Search the area for a rope, something you could use to get the boy out of the well. Um, parts of the ruins were pulled down. Perhaps a source of stone for some nearby village. You find a rope, bucket, half rotten ladder. Bucket to the rope, just the rope, or the uh, well, they can't give him the ladder. I'll give you the bucket. Tie the bucket to the rope and lower it. Cop, is it cops? I don't think I found. I, okay. Now I'm thinking cusp. I'll give you a bucket and a rope. The boy climbs into the bucket, holding onto the rope. He's a lot heavier than he expected. It takes some effort to get him out, but at last you succeed. The moment the boy reaches the surface, the dog throws itself at its master and it starts licking its face. Oh, knows why, as the boy says, this was a terrible adventure. You know the way home, kid? He uh, leads you to a small farmstead a few miles down the road. His mother's waiting for him, rushing to the gate as you approach. Edward, where are you? Are? I have been looking for you all day. What did you do this time, you little devil? Thank her and leave. Oh, she's gonna eat some food. Thanks, thanks, lady. All right, special energies around here. Uh, you journey towards. Uh, journey brings you to the most renowned lake in all of Albion, perhaps even the world. It was here that the Lady of the Lake granted Arthur his sword, Excalibur, and here it was returned after the Battle of Camlin. Perhaps she will aid you in your quest, as she did Arthur in his. Let's take a look at. We got a, a statue of Arthur, and the lake next to us. Um, I'm gonna take a look at the statue. A bald, one-eyed man sits at the statue's base, patiently cleaning it with a rag. No one comes to look at, after poor Arthur anymore, he mumbles without turning towards you. Such a great man. King Gawain charged us, uh, charged us with maintaining it, but I'm the only one left. Camelot sends no coin, no food. Um, yeah, have, have some food, buddy. man turns towards you with a big smile. Only a few teeth left. Well, well uh, he's going to have trouble eating that. Not hard to be moved by how happy this meager donation makes him. Thank you, thank you. Bless you for your generosity. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. Let's go to the lake. The woman's waiting for you at the lake. She's clothed in white samite. Her skin so pale it almost appears blue. There is a tired smile upon her face. It's good to see you again, Merlin, she says. If only in spirits. We are much diminished, diminished. All of us. Yet we abide. There's hope in that. Her voice is ancient, and she speaks the oldest tongue in all the world. Help! Lake uh, Lady uh, gazes out across the water. There's not much I can give you. I have but fragments of the powers we once possessed. They will assist you in this world with these knights, but they will not follow you across the void. Okay. Um, I can say... I can't ask for a blessing, so I'm going to just take your gift. A berserker's horn. Thanks. As you leave, the lady vanishes back into the still waters of the lake. Farewell. Bye. Mm -hmm. See ya. Let's go to the uh, the cataclysm, and, and uh, there might be a good um, demo in spot. Um, as you follow an old wooden road, you come across a broken down cart. It appears to be loaded with supplies, but one of its wheels is missing. Well, I'll have to take a look. As you near the cart, you notice a man leaning against a nearby tree. He is uninjured, but clearly has reached the end of his strength. Please, he says, can you help me? What's wrong with you? The wheel came loose and it fell into that goalie over there. I tried to retrieve it, but I've been walking for so long, I simply don't have enough strength left. If I slipped, I would never get out of here. So we have a 50% chance of climbing down, looking for the wheel, or leaving his face. Well, well, take a look. Oh, I pick one? I'll pick a card, any card. No, I'll oh, fail. The goalie is a nightmare of roots and mud. After endless searching, you conclude that the wheel is carried off by fairies. Or mole people. Merchant is kind and understanding, but you feel ashamed of your failure. I don't feel that bad. I lost one right now for that. Alright, desolate farm. Passing by a remote farm, far from any village, you notice a fire burning unattended. As you come closer, the wind carries a terrible stomach-turning stench towards you. Sneak around back. Stealthily make your way to the other side of the farmyard, observing a horrific slaughter such as, as is rarely seen outside the ravages of war. Men, women, animals lie dead, the ground drenched with blood and entrails. Further on, you discover the culprits, a group of abominations spawned by the cataclysm. They lie in wait, ready to devour the next victim. 
but they have not seen you yet. Stealthily kill one of them. Creatures appear distracted, perhaps eating something. Uh, Merwin takes advantage of, her in of their inattention and move in and deliver the fatal thrust to one of them before it can defend itself. It falls dead where it stands. The other turn to attack you, but you are not afraid. Fight! Okay. Let's fight. Uh, where are they? Where are you? A behemoth and another mandrake. Isn't a mandrake like the plant? Is that what a mandrake is? Screams or something? Um, I'm going to have um, the dwarf. Br Brunor? Brunor? The dwarf. Come up here. That was your full round, wasn't it? Um, oh, a quick draw. Yeah, yeah. Put them both into this guy. He missed. He missed again. You're lousy. Okay, um... One up here. Berserker's Horn. Use one stack of keen... Applies one stack of keen to everybody, which gives them extra damage for the next strike. Or I can throw a flame and brins... Nope, I can't do that one. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Let's get everybody... Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, and then we're going to come hang out over here. He's going to get destroyed here. Oh, that's right, his health stays. Oh, no! Merlin! I need to heal that guy somehow. Uh, maybe we should focus on one. He's weaker. Maybe we just take out this guy real quick. Haste. And then strike him down. There you go. And do it again. Oh, you can't? Let's right, do that then. Is he going to hit me if I move over here? Come over here. Okay. And then... This one. Nope. Oh, uh, you can't re... Okay. Okay. Um... Could burn the guy pretty good. Destroys cover. I think we gotta focus on this, this little guy. So... Nice. He's gonna die. Okay. Um, you have your slash. You just stick on this guy. Probably a bad idea. If we can get him killed real easy, we can move on to him. We might do the same thing too. Just come over here. And, um, take him out. Here we go. Merlin, can you handle this guy? You got seven? You can't kill him this round. Just get far enough away. Oh, I didn't, no, no, cancel. No, oh, oh, man. I went one square too far. It's clicked. Merlin can do the shield boosting thing. Oh, he went right through the hay. Hey, Joseph. Thanks, Joseph. Joseph, that sounds terrible. Um, let's go here. And hit him. Um, we gotta get away. Let's go with... Um, what's he at? He's at three, so we can do the uh, quick draw. That guy, that guy. Oh, they blow up. It hurts. What is that? Over here. 
Heal her. Okay, all good. Can you give it to anyone else? You just give it to yourself. What's I gonna do? I guess we can do that and then give myself the shield block. So we'll do it. So we're gonna slash. That's dirty. Hopefully he goes for you. Um, yeah, um, I want you to be right in front of him. I want you to make sure you... Uh, I want him to go after you because I want you to give him... Oh, no! Oh, no! Poorly planned. It's on cooldown. He's going to die. Are you going to hit strike back at me? Okay. Hmm. Whoever he hits next is going to die. Okay, unless he goes after Merlin. Merlin. Give me a heal, please. Let me get back. And then you, um... I don't know. Maybe we can keep our distance from him for, for a round. Let's go here and, like... I can't defend, but just, just stay there. And you... Back as far as you can. Hope that's, I'm assuming that's far enough. Take that. And uh, we're done. Don't go for her. No, 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 no. Okay. You can go that far, though, right? That's, that's too far for you. Too far. Okay. I can't heal you this round. Can I? Why is it grayed out? Maximum charge is two. Okay. Whale. Um. Tide. Everybody hide. And then you. Over here. Okay, he wants to chew on Merlin. He seems kind of dumb. That's good for us. Oh, that's not good. Extra action point. Yep, yep. Haste. And then, um, run. Can we get to him? We can, right? Oh, no, we can't. We're, we're just a little too far away. I'm going to go here, though. And then I'm going to do the defensive thing. Okay. Can you hit him over here? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't have a good chance of it anyway. So just go out here and do your this thing. I didn't do any good. Well, he only lost four instead of six. Came get his armor. Oh, his bash. I always forget about the bash. That's terrible. Okay. 
I have a 30% chance of hitting him. That's not very good. Thirty percent chance. That's so low. I can't reach him. So whoever he hits next is dying. Him. Thanks, game. <laughs> Appreciate that. That was real nice of you. Okay, armor's gone, so we should do some damage now. Heavy armor expired. There we go. Now we can hit it. It's away from him, so he can, well... Maybe it's all his reaction he gets. No kidding. Why didn't she, yeah, why didn't she kill this guy? <laughs> okay. And then I will move up. I don't want to die. Oh, we're all going to die here. I think. Maybe he already uses reaction. What? We oh, didn't do that. The, what? Wait a minute. You can't make things up. You can't just go and do whatever you want to do. Um, I will shoot you and run away. I'm going to go the other way. Excuse me. <laughs> you got to charge in a straight line. Can't charge around him. Help! <laughs> Man, I don't remember that that Arthurian tale when Morgan, uh, um, was I calling him Merlin the whole time? When was I was calling him Morgan the whole time, wasn't I? That whenever that guy uh, died, no, well, you know whatever he wants to be called. Okay, um, well, I can't think of a better time to call it uh, an end to this video, so uh, let's move on to the next one. As we, what can we see over here? Yeah, yeah. I got it. Uh, well, we won't look at it then. Alright, let's abandon our run and just quit the game already. <laughs>